how are we doing folks? Right, we're back again. This time number one fan has been away yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been this time? I went to Latvia. Um, Vols wanted to go though actually. I only went for a few days. Um, how much footage did you get for this? Uh, I don't reckon about half an hour maybe. Hmm. Did do nothing extreme like the Turkish holiday, um, sightseeing, castles, etc. Yeah, yeah. um, droned a few things. I wasn't there long enough but really, really nice country. Um, really worth seeing, cheap ish euros kind of made it a bit more expensive. Yeah, got a funny true. story with the drone for me to mention. Yeah, go for it, mate. Yeah, so, what, did what did you crash into? I didn't crash. I'm, I'm, I've actually got quite experienced now. I'm don't really crash. I'm oh, come on, it's been a long time. It has, you, you know, you learn. It's been like eight months. He hasn't been anywhere, he hasn't used it, <laughs> <laughs> use it all the time, anyway. So, Great. I droned, um, Assessis Castle was really picturesque. That will be coming out of my channel. Um, there wasn't much else, I didn't have much of a time in Latvia to do any other filming, but whilst we was there, there was this really nice Orthodox um, church. Hmm. I think it was Greek Orthodox. Anyway, really like nice dome buildings, really beautiful, and it was in the, the main bit in the square. I thought, I'll just drone it. So I got the drone out, put it up. Bearing in mind, I don't ever check if I can drone, I just drone it. That's just how I am. And put it up, and I had a warning sign come up. I think I was about 20 metres up. Um, Ministry of Defence warning. Presidential Palace warning. Wow. So I was I was right, right next to it in the vicinity of. And because of, obviously, the old war that's going on, being really close to Russia, I didn't want to risk, even me, I didn't the want to drone risk drone attack. <laughs> to be shot down. So I completely, I just, and you know, countries like that don't mess about like the no, UK. Just shoot it down. So I just, and I can get in a lot of trouble. Mm. Put it down, packed it up and run off. Did you run? I, I walked um, quite fast, let's say. He's mad. And the footage, is, we got the footage of that. No, I haven't because I was droning. I've got no foot. I've got a picture somewhere if you wanted to put it on. Of well, no, you mean, didn't start recording the, when you took off him. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, no, I that's didn't. rule number one. Just but you wouldn't have seen it anyway, would you? I mean, you wouldn't have seen no, the wall. You'd have seen the palace in that, surely. You'd have seen you get to there. And... No, because those all trees. You wouldn't have seen anything. I didn't well, get it'd high enough. It'd be nice enough. to see that. Well, must be about ten, twenty meters. We'd have to go back and get some footage. It'd be nice to show. see the footage and have a little narration yeah. saying, "This is me. I've started it here." And it's like, oh God. We've got to get it back, we've got to get out of here. Yeah. Blitz eye are on the way. When you're in a rush, you don't really think about that. And this is not a Russian coat. Um, you know the Russian war at the moment, folks. It's not a Russian coat. This is... Uh, That's Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. Firefighter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, Latvia. Really nice. Really, really worth going. No, nice country. Sounds good. Yeah, it's good. And here is the video, folks. Check it out. But also, before you do that, check out his... Uh, website. Um, website. <laughs> Check out his uh, Escape the Chaos, folks. YouTube. It'll be in the description. Getting a few videos up now, yeah. aren't I? Let's go. Cheers. So folks, we are in um, Latvia, a town called Sessus. Sessus. Again, sorry if you can't see my face, but I'm actually going to get a proper camera. Because I'm using my phone, I have no idea what I'm filming now. But um, I will be getting a proper camera. So we're in Sessus. Uh, there's a really nice castle here. So we've come here from Riga by train. Uh, just if you ever hear, it's Riga Central train station. It's like an hour and 45 minutes and it cost about three and a half euros a person. So really cheap. The castle looks really good and then I think there's like a 10 minute walk um, to the castle. So yeah, exploring Latvia for the first time 
Uh, we've only come for a couple of days to Latvia and then we're heading off to Lithuania. So at the minute, uh, tomorrow actually we go to Lithuania. So uh, Vilnius and doing a little bit exploring there. So yeah, be a quite a short one I think for Latvia because there's not, I haven't got too much time here. But it looks really pretty here. Peaceful. Little town. So one thing I was surprised if I was, do a bit of filming later with Riga was uh, how quiet it was for a capital but I forget there's only I think 1.8 uh, million people in the whole of Latvia so I think yeah that's obviously why I've got uh, quite a lot less people so which seems to be decreasing over the last few years I think their population I read in 85 90 was over two and a half million and since then it's decreased to 1.8 something million so i think that's for a few of these countries because it's i suppose it decreases easier when you've got a uh, smaller population almost every other country in europe is cleaner than the uk so nice no shit on the floor This, I believe, is the uh, just the central square. Looks really nice. Latvian flags all around. Some form of monument. It's a nice little town. Latvia is nice so far. I quite like it. Not many places I don't like, to be honest. Look at those flowers. There's lots of trees here. It's currently 27 degrees. Doesn't feel like it because it's overcast, which is actually great for droning. So if this video comes out before my um, drone video, watch out for that and click on the card below. Look how pretty it is. It is a real shame that the UK can't take more care of their towns, like most places in Europe seem to. Everywhere it looks nicer without rubbish. So folks, I'm in Cessus. I've just entered Cessus Castle. I've just droned it for my channel. And uh, so I thought I'd film as well. I'll do a little bit of filming around side, inside, sorry. So we're going in that tower, folks. We, uh, you get given a lantern because it's dark. It's really cool. It's like really authentic. Proper lantern for candle because it's dark inside. So apparently you need it to, to go in. But yeah, it's really cool. Look at that. There's a huge tour group, so we're trying to um, get inside before them. You do really need it because it's so dark. It's literally pitch black here. Yeah. It's pitch black, I'm saying. Ah, oh, and there the stairs. The phone light is very <laughs> <laughs> Not as authentic though. Yeah. So we're climbing folks. With candlelight. Yeah. Crazy. Like the old times.
Crazy. This is inside. Top of the uh, tower that has the red tiles on. You will see. So that shows how it used to look, it's like a, like a grand hall. No roof now. And uh, here's the crap house, folks. Look at that. They've actually rebuilt the toilet. And look, all the way down. It's quite far. With a view as well. Nice. Better than my toilet. It's really cool in there, it's like natural air conditioning. So we are in uh, one of the round towers, folks. It's really cool. We've got all the fire in slits there. So this is, I think I said, oh, this is what you get to walk up because there's no light. It's really cool and like authentic. Yeah, it's really cool. Just a lot to lead us down, folks. It's quite cool. Just a little bit dodgy. Here's inside one of, here's inside the church, folks, in Cessus. It's quite nice. It's like really old. Look at the damage at the bottom. That's kind of disturbing. It looks like a doll hanging on the wall. Nice. There's the organ, folks. Look at that. I wonder how old it is. Out of breath again, folks. We're climbing uh, the church tower, so let's get panoramic views. It was, uh, I think it's meant to be 350 each, the euros. That's that. Yeah, so it's a lot of stairs. We've already done quite a lot of stairs, to be fair. 
with the castle. But look how steep, look how steep each set is. I have no idea how many levels there are, but uh, it is what it is. Wow, so I've reached the top. Look at them bells. Look how old they are. I can zoom in on one. Maybe someone can read. Oh, is that Latvian? I know we're in Latvia, but obviously it was uh, ruled by the Russians for a while, wasn't it? So I'm not sure. But anyway, those are the bells. It's really cool. Oh my, and it goes up again and again. I honestly thought that was it, but clearly not. It's, uh, yeah, wow. Oh no, it is it. You can't go up there. So that's for uh, staff members only. Yeah, it's really cool to see the mechanism because you don't normally, don't normally see it. I saw that down there, the 1938. I'm not sure how real that is. You've got E1860 there. The wood doesn't look that old. I mean, I could be wrong, of course, but how thick it is though, it's crazy. I'd love to be up here and they ring. And there's the, uh, there's the castle folks. I've just been in and filmed. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's the castle. It says this castle, it's a not really nice town. I do recommend visiting. If you ever come to, you know, Riga, the capital. So it's an hour and a half, or just over. You can actually get fast trains, but obviously we come on the Sunday, which Sunday service everywhere is worse. It took us hour and 45, but I think there's a fast, this is hour and 20. So if you came here during the week, uh, I'm guessing it'll be a lot quicker than what we did. But yeah, it's amazing, it's really nice here. So I think this is the square. It's like, it's so quiet here. I mean, it is a Sunday, but it's really quiet, peaceful. That's the um, that's the church I've just been up top of. It's really nice. Three euros fifty, folk. Inside is free, but to go to the top of the tower, I think it's worth it. So we're walking back, folks. Just went to this uh, Orthodox church there. And there's the uh, little lake next to the castle. Really picturesque here. Turn right. If you're interested, but it's uh, this is a Lithuanian, a Lithuanian. Sorry, I'm going there next. Latvian supermarket. Look, and you get your frozen veg like that. There's fish there. Scoop it up. Um, so I'm guessing it's done by weight. It's quite cool. I love going into other supermarkets from different countries. It all seems nicer. Look, look at the choice. Bakery sections all seem really nice in other countries. Yeah, I think it's always nice to see. Wow, they look nice. Crazy. Different crisps, look at those.
so much choice. So I'm just going to continue showing you bits. It's hard to get it all in on the camera. I'm hoping uh, this is the last time I'm filming on this camera. I think I said before that um, I'm getting a proper vlogging camera, hopefully. So I don't have to rely on this phone because it's quite annoying. Different chocolates. Well, milk is not that different for UK, but and stuff down. You see the prices, look, it's one euro or less in a lot of cases, so it's cheaper. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's for the alcohol. Well, I'm hoping to get some gin. So this is now um, Riga's building for Academy of Science. Um, this is from the Soviet area when the Soviets used to rule part of the uh, USSR back in the day. And this was built, uh, I think it was 1951 they started, and that was um, for the communist leader Stalin, as a memory for him. It's similar to one in Poland, but just a lot smaller. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, um, it's actually an a observatory deck now as well. You can go up there, I think, during the day, um, pay to see it, but it's, uh, it's really cool. It's actually quite a nice looking building for a communist era, to be fair. Yeah, what do you think of that, folks? So, coming up, folks, is the Riga Orthodox um, Cathedral. Uh, Nativity Orthodox Cathedral. Here. Look at that. Sorry for the... I was... Um, I was just... I just started to drone this, and I popped the... I popped the drone up and uh, I just had a warning sign President's Palace Ministry of Defence area so I put that straight back down I didn't really want to risk getting arrested and put in prison but beautiful church so here's another angle it's really nice and you've got the uh, Radisson blue behind it how funny Yeah, it's a shame because I thought that would be a nice drone video, but uh, yeah, it's not really worth taking that risk. To a certain extent, I don't care, but when it's like presidential, Ministry of Defence, and it's not your country, ex-Soviet country, I decided not to. You're not allowed to film inside there either. I only had, the cat, I only had my phone in my hand and I got warned about taking photos or videos. So I couldn't get what's inside, but it is nice. Look. It's beautiful, really nice. So this is uh, Old Town Riga. We're here for the first time. It's quite nice, like most European centers. I think it's a nice, what, 22? degrees or something now yeah that's yeah, quite nice I think we're gonna come here tomorrow we're leaving tomorrow by um bus so if you oh, just drop that phone then so if you ever come to Latvia and you want to travel over to Lithuania we've got a bus with Lux tour Lux something bus I think it's L-U-X-E it was uh I think like 40 40 pounds for both of us. It's a four hour journey from Riga to Vilnius, if anyone's interested. Because, you know, countries are quite close together, so it's definitely worth combining two, if you can, whilst you're here. Yeah, it's really nice. I thought I'd show you this. So in the distance there, folk, is the uh, river. And this is the uh, House of the Black Heads. It's a museum. Nice building. So it's getting a bit dark, but um, you get the picture anyway. Yeah, this is uh, basically it's the old town we're in still. It's really nice. 
Continue along the old town. Really nice. It's really picturesque here. This is um, a cherry liquor bar, folk. Ukrainian cherry liquor from Lviv. Awesome inside. There's a Riga sign there, folks, with a memorial in the background. I have no idea the significance uh, of that memorial, but um, it's really nice here, really pretty park there Riga by night I do recommend a visit it's really good it's not too expensive either oh well, I won't focus on that that's too bright it's um, ice hockey basically if I click on that maybe you'll see it yeah you see yeah there we go This is the House of the Black Heads inside. This is the basement. Stairs blocked off, though, capped off at the top. It's really cool. Oh, look, another old staircase. Crazy. Oh, there we go. There. Air furnace. I'm going to zoom in on the English bit so you can pause. So that's... Uh, all that in there, look at that. That's cool, I'll take the camera. That one. So this is also inside the house of the Blackheads, folks. But I'm um, the upper floors. Look how grand this is. This is impressive. I love the ceiling. It's really nice. 
I'm guessing this is the Grand Hall. I haven't seen a sign, so I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Assembly Hall. There we go, so if you wanna pause it, pause it there, you can read. Yeah, it's impressive. There's a balcony as well I'm gonna to go to. Size of the paintings. It gives you a little view of Riga from above. Carrying on in the uh, House of Blackheads. Looks like a smoking room. What you would have had. But, that is it. So the late Queen has visited here, Elizabeth and Philip, and there's the picture. I'll we'll zoom in. 2006. That's cool. Lots of other people as well. Look. Earl of Wessex. Definitely worth a visit. It's uh, seven euros each. Really worthwhile. Oh well. Wow. So, folks, getting on the bus now to um, Vilnius. Look at the leg room I've got. Let's sit back. Paid an extra tenner. This is, um, let's say, the Lux Express. Pretty good. And um, so that's from Riga bus station to Vilnius bus station. I think it was 50 euros for both of us. So that's good. And they're the famous hangers. There's a few of them left in Europe. Buses in a way, but I'm sure some of you know the type of hanger, but it's that type of hanger that's quite rare, apparently.